The question for this episode of Top Quora Stories goes like, what are the dirtiest secrets that you haven't told anybody? We have our first answer from Anonymous, and it goes like, My first teacher when I was four years old taught me how to masturbate. I realized it in my high school. Since my parents were working, one of my family friend used to come and rape me when I was four fifths years old. I became addicted to masturbate without realizing its adverse effect, eventually leading me to erectile dysfunction. I became a sex addict that I used to imagine sex at the age of 10. I am bisexual. I used to peep others changing clothes and bathing. I realized my mistake when I grew older and became aware of myself. I tried to reform myself. My girlfriend helped me to reform. Yes I told her my story. I don't smoke, drink, neither had sex with anyone. Though sexual desires urges but I controlled myself. My girlfriend left me to marry someone else, still I love her to gift me this new life. I cry alone and feel very lonely in my life. I am 30 now, but didn't marry. May not marry in future. Let's move on to our next answer, and this one is also from Anonymous, remember these are dirtiest secrets. And the answer goes like. We are four friends, girls. All of us got married before two years. Not on the same day, but nearby months. Two of us are staying outside the country after their wedding. But after my marriage, I was shifted to the other city. Fourth one shifted to another city. I don't want to tell the names of the cities, because I don't want to let you all know the name of my country. So, only two of us were there in the same country. Before three months from today, I was thinking that I should give a surprise to my friend who is staying in the same country by visiting her in-law's house. I know her full address. I booked tickets and went there before two months from now. She got surprised and was very happy, maybe. It was my plan to stay for 10 days in the city. She insisted me to stay in her house for these 10 days and not in any hotel. I think that she was just doing formality. I accepted her offer, which I should not, and she was happy again, maybe. Her husband is a gentleman, with a nice look and income. He loves her a lot. I know that because I had conversations with him many times on phone. Is because, her mother-in-law already died before her marriage, there are only three members in her house including her as of now. She, her husband and her father-in-law. So, the actual things begin from there. I found that her father-in-law is a big pervert. He seeks for chances, so that he can touch her. And my friend don't react on all these. He stares at her private parts. Sometime, he touches her thighs, sometime, he touches her neck, sometime, her butts and sometime, her waist. He was continuously touching her inappropriately and it was more shocking thing for me that she was not feeling his pervertness. She wears shorts in front of him and it reveals her thighs completely. I noticed that when he was touching her thighs which were not covered by any clothes, she neither was not removing his hand from there and nor asking him to remove his hand from there. One day, my seventh day of staying in her house, I was in her room at afternoon, while she was in her kitchen. I was enjoying my internet in my mobile, but suddenly I heard that her father-in-law came in kitchen and after five minutes, I was able to hear their laughs, in low voice. I was able to hear that she was saying to him, she can come there. It's three days left now. After that, you can do whatever you want to do. For which, he replied, I can't wait. I was able to hear many things which were more than their expectations. I slowly walked a few steps to see what is happening and I got the biggest shock which I can never imagine. Her father-in-law was grabbing her from behind and his hand was in her trousers. Instead of any defensive steps, she was laughing with him. It was something like this below pic. In this picture, it's showing that his hand is out, but her father-in-law's hand was inside her trousers. I was not able to say word at that time. To confirm that what I was watching is true or not, I got hired and saw them for two minutes. This is true, what I was watching. I was watching them from the place they can't see me, but I can see them and their front part. I don't know that what forced her to do so. She have a nice husband. Don't have any issues related with financial problems. Her husband loves her a lot. She is also very beautiful. 
Then, what is the reason behind it? After that moment, I came back in room, booked my new ticket and started packing my bag. I told her that my mom is not well and I have to go. I came back in my city. I never shared this with anyone. Don't know why. Let's move on to our next answer, answer number 3, and this one is also from Anonymous, remember these are dirtiest secrets. And the answer goes like. My dirtiest secret. Don't be freaked out please. I am in a relationship with my professor. I have her exam tomorrow. Nobody knows, it is our secret. We can't keep her hands off each other, I go to university extra early just for her. People are confused as to why we laugh when we pass each other in the hallway but they think that I must be her good student. I meet her every day because she lives near my office. I don't feel guilty and I know this relationship won't last long because she is engaged, if I tell anyone, I will be judged. It all started in class, her eyes caught my attention, her body is curved like someone chiseled it. Her breasts are noticeable too. I could not help myself, I kept looking at her, it is bad to look at women in my country, especially in my way. But I question God, why did you make her this way? Why does she have to be perfect in every way? She noticed me looking, I am also very attractive, so she would smile and lick her lips, I guess that is her habit for when she finds someone attractive. I have had my fair share of older women in my life and I matured at a very young age. I have seen the darker side of life and I have been living this life in fear and pain since I was a small boy due to abuse in my house. But I am out of it now. However, it made me what I am today. She called me one day to the library, she was alone. She had a spare key for the library, it was way too early, the librarian does not come until 12 pm. She asked me about how I did this assignment because it was very extraordinary and then soon the conversation changed, we discussed our lives a little. She was very open. This would continue for one week and I knew I was onto something. I took a chance one morning, I kissed her. My heart was beating but we enjoyed it. It has been two months now, you can say that we are together. I don't know why I am doing this. But it feels good. I just wanted to hide her. I don't want her to marry this guy, she does not even like him. Her parents set it all up and she has to accept. But I can't do it. My country is different. People will see me as a different person. I must be quiet about it all. That is why I am talking about it here. Double checking if this answer is anonymous. Let's move on to our next answer, answer number 4, and this one is also from Anonymous, remember these are dirtiest secrets. And the answer goes like. I was a 19 year old guy just shifted from Gujarat to Mumbai for BSc, grad college. I was on a lookout for a tutor that would help me in physics as I was weakest in that. Since I was short on cash, I couldn't go to those reputed and big banner classes coaching centers of Mumbai. So I started looking out for private tutors instructors. To my luck, I found a family who lived around 15 minutes from me. The husband and wife both worked and their daughter had completed her tech, engineering, and used to teach students from 10th to 12th. I went and approached her and she said even though she had no best say students, she could teach me physics as it was her strongest suite. However, there was a catch. The girl used to go to the house of the students and would teach them in a group, 10th, 12th etc. Coming to know that I live alone, her parents obviously weren't ready to send her to my place. So I had to go to her house early morning, as I had college in the afternoon and she taught other kids in the evening. This lasted for a month or so. One fine day she called me up and said that studying at her place would be impossible since there is a renovation of her neighbor's flat and it causes a lot of noise. This would last for a month. I told her that I couldn't skip classes for a month cause my first SEM exams were upon me and I had to study with her help and since I'd already paid her the whole year's fee, I couldn't even switch. I asked her to refund me the fees, she declined. She said the only option was for her to come to my place. I said it works for me but her parents wouldn't allow her. To my surprise she said she'll convince them saying that I'm just a student and all. So I told her to come to my place the next morning. The next day I heard her mother knock my door and drop her off. She wanted to scrutinize my house and stuff. Luckily, I had hidden the SIGs and boost and since I was a tech guy, all my porn was digital. No chances of any contraband being found. Her mother told me to study well and stuff and spoke to the girl in their native language, some South Indian dialect. The mother told me that she would be dropping off her daughter every morning at 7am and then leave for work. 
The daughter would leave at 9 to 9.30 a.m. and come back home on her own. I nodded and said okay. She left. The girl and I were studying when out of the blue she says, I am surprised that a guy living alone has no cigs or booze. I told her I do but had hidden them away. She laughed. After a while she said she wanted to smoke and needed a cig. I was surprised by that and she said she smokes, drinks, etc. all with her female friends when she gets the chance. I reluctantly gave her a cig. Since we couldn't smoke and study, the books were closed and the discussion went from academics to gossip and then personal. She asked if I had a GF, I replied negatively. I asked her about her BF, she said she was broken up and single. She also went on to crib about how she was single and sad and blah blah. It irritated me and I blurted out that she needed to get another BF to get over her ex. She mistook this as me offering myself to her. She immediately groped my crotch and said in a very filthy, you would like to be that person wouldn't you asshole. Me being a stupid 19 year old, had zero control over my hormones and got a harden. One thing led to another and the just like the book, the clothes were off too. I was a virgin and had only seen things in porn. After a lot of foreplay, we went to the mains, but obviously neither of us had protection. It was 8am in the morning and no shop would be open, it would also be embarrassing to get noticed. I thought that was that however to my surprise, she pointed out a different route. She flipped over and showed me her ass. Her biology was also as good as her physics. Me, a virgin 19 years old, staring at a beautiful ass. I quickly pounced and after a lot of help and underwhelming performance, I lost my virginity. We both agreed there was a need for practice. She later confessed it wasn't her first time, even in the back door. Dot. That day I traveled almost 10 kilometers to buy a couple box of condoms. After that day, we laid out a fixed schedule. We used to fuck from the moment she came in and then study. Then finally before leaving, we would do it again. The 19 year old me had an incredible turnaround time. The stuff ranged from kinky, BDSM, roleplay, hardcore, etc. She was the lead, nothing was off limits for her. I never thought this so nice and innocent looking girl would turn out to be this sexy devil. We used to fulfill each other's fantasies and also mimic porn stars and their moves, didn't go well, almost twisted my ankle once. The dirtiest part was the schedule. Her mom used to drop her off below my building, I lived on the third floor. The girl would then come to my house, say bye to her mom from the window, see her drive away and close the window. Though the sex was great, the most worrisome part was to ensure her clothes were wrinkle and spot free. Then she would meticulously remove her clothes and put it safely in a corner. After that we would go to town on each other. I could do anything to her tits, bargain ass but not her arms and legs as she wore shorts at home. After the first round, we would study very diligently too and then go for the second round. She would wear my clothes in the interim. Later she would wear her clothes, do her hair and move out. Leaving none the wiser. Luckily for us, even after the renovation of her neighbor's flat was over she kept coming to my house stating that it was comfortable and the schedule was perfect. We had the time of our lives for almost 5 months, leaving out holidays, leaves, periods, moodless days, etc. The best part was that we promised to keep it sex only and not to develop any feelings. It was fantastic. Even after she stopped tutoring me, we used to meet up far away but it wasn't as good as it used to be. After a while it stopped and the last I heard, she had secured a job at an MNC in her native place. I am 26 now. In a stable relationship. I still however cannot forget my physics teacher. FYI, I did pass my physics and also my best say. Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Let's move on to our next answer. Answer number 5. And this one is also from Anonymous. Remember these are dirtiest secrets. And the answer goes like. This is the secret between me and my best friend. I am a guy and she is a girl. We change clothes and roam naked in each other's presence. If we are in a hotel room or at each other's place, we are naked all the time while we are in a closed space and are alone. We give massages to each other. We masturbate in front of each other but never help each other. We sleep naked in same bed when we are traveling together and have checked into hotels. We examine each other's bodies as we both regularly suffer from skin rashes due to extreme heat where we live. We help each other put up medicines on our rashes. We examine the fat content and body sculpture of each other to stay in shape for our partners and share a lot of digital sexual content with each other. 
We discuss ideas and things that we can do when we get intimate with our partners. We discuss every good or bad thing in our relationships with each other and try to understand the issue with different point of views. It really helps us understand our partners better and keep our relationships healthy. We buy clothes, undergarments and sex toys for each other. I buy lingerie for her. It is our little world where nothing is hidden from each other but this little world of ours is hidden from everyone. A lot of people do not understand our chemistry but we are like two sides of the same coin. The best part is we have never ever had anything intimate with each other. We are friends since almost two decades now and we both have pledged to stick to each other no matter what and have chosen our friendship over other things in past on four occasions. We share I love you messages with each other several times in our day and our partners are aware about our messages. Let's move on to our last answer for today's episode of Most Dirtiest Secrets, and this one is also from Anonymous, and the answer goes like. Warning, NSFW answer. My dark secret is that I'm secretly a complete slut. I have never been sexually abused in any way in my childhood. But all I ever do is think about sex. Sexting people online. Every boy I look at, I think about fucking him even if I don't even like him in any way. I get turned on over absolutely nothing, all the time, every day. Sometimes I get so horny for about a week and it's unbearable. During that time, I get so horny I can't concentrate on anything. And it feels nice, but it's annoying. I have two vibrators and even if I use them to masturbate, I orgasm and then I'm horny again. It doesn't stop no matter how many times I orgasm, and believe me it is satisfying. I got caught sexually talking to guys who were tons older than me online. Because I felt like if I couldn't have sex I needed to dirty talk to someone. It helps me. It helps me cope with it. I can't do that anymore, I realize how dangerous it is but I seriously write sexual conversations in my notes app to stop me from going insane. Even worse, I have many kinks. Some of them gross out most people. I have a huge daddy kink. I like being submissive. I like being degraded sexually. In fact I love those things. I am still a virgin, even after all that. You may think you've seen the worst but you haven't. I am about to tell you the worst part. I'm 14. Yay yeah, guys, this is all for today's episode of Quora Top Stories. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Do not forget to like and subscribe for more amazing, wild, and spectacular stories from Quora. If you guys have more interesting stories, please share yours in the comment and I will definitely put it in our upcoming videos. See you guys!